today, like I said, I want to speak about basically organizing your business so that you can organize your mind. Our brain is, of course, filled with thoughts and like a lot of thoughts, 60,000 thoughts a day, apparently. So the statistics tell us, but I sometimes think it might be more than that. Um, Imagine if your thoughts were actually like put together in a room, that would be incredibly overwhelming, that number of thoughts. And a lot of our thoughts are running subconsciously. So they're, you know, repetitive things like, oh, I need to lift my leg to walk forward. Oh, I need to put it down. I need to lift the other one. Those are thoughts that we, you know, we don't actually think out loud as it were. They are, they are subconscious thoughts in our head, they don't need to be organized. Basically, our brain has a very good way of doing that itself. We don't need to worry about those thoughts in any way. Those thoughts take care of themselves. They can kind of be stuffed away. Stuff That's no problem at all. They are completely harmless. You don't know they're there. It's not a problem. You don't need to pay attention to them. But then there are the other thoughts. And those are the thoughts that are basically creating emotion for us because there's the whole cycle of thoughts become feelings, become actions, become results. So the thoughts that become feelings, those ones that, um, you know, create emotion, they're the thoughts that we need to organize, that we need to, um, that are in our consciousness and that we need to make decisions about. So there are three key questions here when it comes to our thoughts. And that is, is this thought serving me? Do I really want it? And is it current or outdated? Because it's thoughts become feelings, become actions, become results, become thoughts, become feelings, become actions, become results. So it is actually a loop rather than, a, than, a, than linear. Um, when we have thoughts that we want to ask ourselves so that we can organize our mind and organize our business. And they are, is this thought serving me? Uh, do I really want it? And is it current or outdated? Uh, you might also have even more sort of con conscious thoughts that you're thinking on purpose. So when you think three things, these are the, and these could be things like, um, you know, judgments on people, for example. So your judgments about daily things, um, thoughts about sort of the present time, the future time, they're sort of conscious thoughts that you're kind of, you're deliberately thinking, if that makes sense as well. So some of these thoughts can be very deliberate and very useful, but some can be um, more like daydreaming or more indulgent thinking as well. So again, we want to be able to organize those types of thoughts as well. So the more aware we are of our thinking, the more we can make conscious choices about how we actually want to think. And being organized is the best way to manage our mind at the highest level and to do that. And where we want to get to is we want to become aware of our thought. We then want to ask ourselves those three questions um, and make a decision to, I, to sort of say goodbye to that thought to create what we want if that thought isn't serving us, okay? So how do we actually do that in reality? Well, the first thing that we want to be able to do in order to organize our mind um, and to, which leads us to organizing our business um, is to be able to understand what thoughts we're having. So it can be really hard to organize something if you're sitting within the mess. Like it can just be really incredibly overwhelming to do that. It works, you know, if you're thinking about tidying a room, you're sitting in a room that's a complete and utter mess. It can be such an incredibly difficult thought to actually tackle that. And it's the same in our brains as well. And it's the same in our business. What we need to do is kind of is within our heads is we need to step out of that mess so that we're able to kind of look in and start making decisions on things. So when you're sort of in your brain, as it were, you are at the effect of your thoughts. And it's very, very difficult to recognize at that point um, that everything going on in there is a choice. So we need to be have get away where we can basically step back and watch ourselves think. So shifting from merely thinking to thinking about our thinking. If you think about what you're thinking now, then you have to pause to think about what you're thinking now. You have to shift your perspective. So that is an important step to take before you do a thought download to work out what your thoughts are. So I find that um, the best thing to do is to write down your thoughts as they're coming through. 
But when people do that, they often start doing it in a kind of journal entry type way or a letter type way. And the whole time you're writing, it then becomes filled with emotion. So it's actually not necessarily the thoughts, it's the feelings that you're starting to come out with rather than the thoughts themselves. Remember, thoughts become feelings, become actions, become results. When you start to make this shift about thinking about your thoughts, you can move from that emotional bit uh, back up the chain again, as it were, and kind of start to simply write down all the sentences in your mind without the emotion affecting them. So that's the, the kind of skill in doing that. What we want to actually do is essentially objectify our thoughts to what they are. We want to shift that emotion from them. That means that kind of long, messy, dramatic, emotional stories can become sort of three sentences. And complicating and confusing thoughts can become basically a really simple fact. So anytime we get overwhelmed with thoughts and emotions, we can get back to this place where we can then simplify and organize our thoughts on the thing within a few seconds. And it can take a huge mess and straighten it up and put everything in its place if we only start writing down the facts of the situation. And facts are things that everyone agrees on. So facts are not emotional, facts are not messy, facts are facts. They don't have adjectives and adverbs and all those things. They don't have drama or emotion. Um, they are just thoughts, you know, things like, I am a human, I have two parents, I am married, I'm alive, I'm breathing, I have a house, I have two children, uh, I had a conversation, I heard someone say something, those are facts, those are complete facts. So once we kind of get our thoughts on paper, then what do we do with those? Well, we take each thought and we apply the question, is it serving me? Is this thought serving me? Do I really want it? And is it current or outdated? But when we're looking at those questions, then we need to think that questions, they don't apply to the circumstance or the situation that you're writing down about. They only apply to the actual thought itself. So once you ask the questions about your thinking, then you can decide to eliminate the thought or keep the thought. It becomes a choice. And you can keep going with those questions for every thought you have. So everything that you've written down, when you're trying to um, work out the thoughts and you're trying to work through them, every single one, you can ask yourself those questions as well and keep going. If you need, if new thoughts come in, you can write those down as well and treat them in the same way as you're going through this and kind of straightening up the thoughts that you have in your brain, straightening up kind of what's in there and organizing what's in there in terms of your thoughts and saying goodbye to the ones that are no longer serving you in any way, the ones that you don't need to have. Whilst you kind of think through these things as well, it's important to remember that half the time we have positive thoughts and half the time we have negative thoughts. And that's the same for everyone, whether we're an optimist or a pessimist, half the time we have positive thoughts and half the time we have negative thoughts. And that's completely okay. It's okay to have negative thoughts and it's okay to have positive thoughts. But what we just need to do is stay on top of how, stay on top of how we are organizing those thoughts in our heads um, in terms of which are serving us or not. Um, then we don't need to be kind of war sort of buried down in the way of overwhelming emotions um, and those kinds of things that can come with it. We just follow that process, asking ourselves the questions. Of course, thoughts become feelings, become actions, become results. So then we've got our, we, now we've got our kind of thoughts and our feelings organized. If our actions then aren't organized, then you become reactive to every single thing that happens, that every single thing you do. And you're then trying to sort of run around, get it all done without a plan, without any deliberate thought, and things become incredibly messy. We can start thinking about our actions in two ways. They're either fueled by positive emotions or negative emotions because thoughts become feelings, become actions, become results. So many of our reactions and um, inactions can come from unconscious negative emotion, and that is completely exhausting. Um, and it means that we end up with less than we want in terms of our results. Whereas if we start managing this and we start getting on top of that, um, that cycle, thoughts, thoughts, feelings, actions, results, we start controlling how that works, then you can see that actually we can flip around those actions. We can make incredibly conscious actions and end up with incredibly 
positive results. Um, incidentally, this doesn't just go for, you know, okay, this is how we organize our mind. And uh, this is, this is basically how you can look at all your life. So your business, your home life, your personal life, you know, everything um, boils down in this way as well. So if we aren't paying attention and organizing our emotions, then we can't make change to allow our, you know, allow things to be different from the way they are. Because if we're being fueled by unconscious negative emotions, that means we're going to have negative actions that give us negative results. So that's why it's incredibly important to master this piece so that your business can flourish as well. When we look at the results as well, sometimes we don't organize our results in a way that serves us. And we spend way too much th time thinking about and rehashing the results we might have labeled as failures that didn't work, that you have never been able to do, um, that you got hurt doing, that you tried once and didn't, you know, didn't work for you. And very, very often, and this can very much be the case if you are a entrepreneur who's striving for more all the time, we can give ourselves very little credit for the awesome results that we've produced so far in our lives and in our businesses. We can, we can kind of flip this around as well by saying, let's um, consider the idea that you only have to keep on display the things in your mind that you want to display. And you can ask yourself, these questions about the results you're allowing to be displayed to yourself. So is, are they serving me? Do I really want it? Is this current or, or outdated? So what are the thoughts around your results? Asking yourself those same three questions and making sure that you keep all the things that you really, really love that are not outdated thinking anymore. And the other stuff, you can choose to say goodbye to it that room in your thoughts in your thinking for the incredibly positive stuff you clean out the stuff that you don't need and you create a story that serves you for the rest of your life you create an incre incredibly positive story off the back of it how do we then bring this into our business well like i said you know thoughts feelings actions and results aren't just silos to our personal life they work exactly the same way in our business. The thoughts we have about our business, the feeling we have about our business, the actions we get in our business, or the actions we do in our business, sorry, and the results we get in our business. We can create our own reality in our business by, can, by getting our mind organized around our business as well. But actually, it's not just organizing your mind in a, you know, in a kind of vacuum in a kind of silo itself it's organizing everything to do with your business and in all honesty organizing your life more as well so in the same way that you if you went to visit someone's house and there was stuff everywhere there was clutter everywhere you might feel overwhelmed uh you might feel a bit confused it might be uncomfortable to you we have the same thing in our businesses as well so if you think about your business right now is it organized can you find things that you want to find? Do you know the stuff you have? When was the last time you really kind of did an examination of what is in your business, um, both in your head, in your business, and actually in your business? So you think about your office space, your desk, your downloads folder, your Google Drive, your email, your social media inboxes, your team training material, your tech stack. If you're feeling a bit overwhelmed right now, then that's kind of normal. But we need to pay attention to that because it really does matter because it takes up space. It takes up space in our head and it takes up space, you know, physical space as well. Um, and ultimately we want to have a business where every single thing in our business serves us. We want everything to be there for a reason and because we like it and because it serves you and your team and it's current and it's the best version of you and it's the best version of your business. And so, there is very, very little, you know, that we actually need to have in our business, need to keep um, apart from sort of some legal stuff. So if we're not using stuff, then we're wasting it. And just because you keep something doesn't mean you're using it. And how much um, waste you have cluttering up your space right now, whether it's your brain space, your physical space, your hard drive space, there will be a lot of stuff 
for most people that's kind of clogging everything up, making feeling everything feel heavy and making everything feel a little bit unorganized. And it's the same process that we spoke about. So becoming aware, asking yourself the three questions, saying goodbye and creating what you want. It works just as well in our businesses as it does in our personal lives. It works just as well with physical things as it does with thoughts. I urge you to create a list of those areas, the physical, the virtual in your business that you want to tackle in your brain as well. The thoughts that you're having about certain things um, and ask, do they, is it serving me? Do I really want it? Is it current or outdated? And if the answer is um, no, it's not, then it's goodbye or hitting the delete button. I whizzed through that quite quickly, but I hope this is making sense to you guys. I hope this is useful. Okay, any questions on this? Because I realize it's quite a big subject. So any questions on it, do let me know in the comments and I will loop back and come back and answer those. Um, I hope you have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time of day you're watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. As I said, take care, everyone. And I will see you in the group very, very soon. See ya.